What's going on, Pro Cutters? The, uh, the front facing camera on my iPhone uh, 10s is FUBAR. You can see that I'm all cloudy looking. And that's because water somehow infiltrated a waterproof phone. And uh, so, yeah, it screwed up my uh, facial recognition doesn't work on it anymore really not happy about that the damn phone is just over a year old it's not even paid for yet easy payments they said you get a new phone we don't offer discounts anymore but we'll set you up with some easy payments yeah easy payments all right and then when their piece of crap breaks um, after the warranty goes out you're left with junk that looks like this bah. All right, so a few videos, some people were asking about some of the stuff I use. So here's my new, uh, they s call it a selfie stick because this thing folds up like this, but it, it's, I mean, it's not super comfortable to hold, but it works well for a tripod. It's not really one hand friendly. All right, it also comes with a little remote. It comes out of there. It's a uh, Bluetooth and you can use it for activating the shutter. And then it also has these quick release deals where it can extend up. And I think it goes up to like, let's see, what's the box say? Max height. 1.33 meters so it's pretty nice it came with the um, a clip to hold your phone and it also came with the uh, the GoPro adapter all right pro cutters so now I'm back. Now I'm filming right off of the GoPro Black. So the um, that little tripod by Fugetech, it also comes with this carrying case. So some of the other stuff that I've got in here to use, I've got the uh, the Wind Slayer foam uh, cover to try out on the GoPro and. Uh, it got mixed reviews. A lot of reviews said that it was really good and uh, really helped with the wind noise on uh, motorcycles and things like that. And then there were a couple that said it was useless. So I don't know. I figured I'd get one and give it a try. So I'll let you guys know how that works out. And then also, I like HB4's. Uh, night lapse videos and everything that he does so he was sure to tell me that I had to get one of these covers that have the hole in it so you can hook a charge cord up to it so you can have constant power for doing uh, long videos so there you go I got one of those thanks Lee HV4 I appreciate the tip on that and then the next thing I got was the Movo MTP 1000 motorized time-lapse uh, tripod head. And it also came with the little GoPro adapter for the uh, tripod. So now I've got two of those. And what it is, it's just a little they call it they say motorized but it's really not motorized it's just got a wind-up mechanism in it and you um, it's got the quarter 20 thread on the bottom and a quarter 20 stud on the top so you can use your GoPro mount or you can use your phone or camera mount whatever kind of mount you want and then you just turn this thing to the desired um, amount of distance you want it to cover uh, and it'll cover 360 degrees 
in one hour. So it'll move 90 degrees in 15 minutes. And I ran a video on it earlier this morning. I'll be posting that up so you guys can see how this works. So the only thing I will say negative about it is as it's turning, you've got that tick tock, tick tock, tick tock clock sound. And so that will be in the video. So if you're trying to shoot a video where you're talking or you want to hear equipment running or something like that, chances are you're going to hear that tick tock in your video as well. But still a pretty cool piece. Can't wait to do some other things with that. Then I've also picked up this. It's real similar to the GoPro shorty handle only it's 15 bucks on Amazon and I think they want like 20 or not 20 they want 30 or 40 dollars for the GoPro shorty and uh, this is basically the same thing uh, comes with the quarter 20 tripod adapter because it's got a standard GoPro mount on it and it telescopes out and then it's also got the built-in tripod on it so pretty cool. Uh, it also comes with the holder for your cell phone. It's got a damn good seal on it too. There you go. So it comes with the uh, the little spring-loaded holder to hold your cell phone or anything else. I've just got my uh, I'm running the GoPro app, and so. I can see what the camera sees on here. Works pretty well. Um, definitely uh, thankful that I picked up the GoPro Hero 8. It's, it's been really good so far. I need, need more practice with it. As you guys saw the uh, video I uploaded today where my mother-in-law helped me make a new sheath for my knife. The battery went out on me, so I replaced the battery. And when I put the new battery in and started the camera back up, I inadvertently put it into time-lapse mode somehow so that sucked but that's neither here nor there I'll learn uh, more how to use it so another thing I picked up is from Harbor Freight it's just a waterproof hard case knockoff of like a pelican I put one of my GoPro stickers on it and then I've got all my cameras in here I've got my Polaroid Cube. I've got the Dazen that uh, Ray FPV sent to me. Thanks, Ray. I appreciate it. This is a good little camera. And uh, Ray didn't need it anymore, and it was before I had my GoPro, so he hooked me up, and I appreciate that. And then I've also got Ray sent with it two batteries and a dual charger for that, and then I've got two batteries and the dual charger for the GoPro as well and all the cables to charge up all the cameras in there too and it's nice waterproof rigid so if it gets thrown dropped or whatever all my cameras are safe so that's it that's all i got for you guys today thanks for watching i appreciate you guys